guys so i'm on today just to show you this is obviously sped up how i painted this little giraffe um, I've sped it up because I've changed my camera angle and I don't think you can get a really good view of what I'm actually doing. So that's the reason that I have sped this up. So all I'm doing at the moment is outlining. I've previously gone in with a pencil just to mark out where the giraffe's going so that I knew that I had enough room to work with. So I'm using a black gel paint here and a fine liner brush and I'm just outlining as I said and then I'll pop this in the lamp for 30 seconds to cure. Then I'm going to come in and add on some colour and for the colour I'm just using gel polishes um, and the gel paint that I have. So I've got black gel paint, white gel paint, gel polish colours are yellow, aspen and wild grape from Shinties. I'll leave them in the description below in case anybody's interested. And the brush is, I can't remember if I got this one from Shinties or not, but it's just like a... That one is a fine, a thicker one than the fine liner. The fine liner that I do use is the Natalie Mugridge one. Um, I absolutely love that brush. So I'm just coming in, I'm adding on all these little like markings and then I will come in with the wild grape and just go over the edges just to darken some of that up. I am curing in between just to hold that design in place um, so that I don't knock it because I am quite clumsy when I work. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to allow you to watch just now and I'll come back and talk to you when we're doing the other two designs. I forgot to mention that I come in with matte top coat and pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds then a shiny top coat and just dab on the eyes which is what I'm doing just now and then cure that again. So moving on to the next one, this is going to be like the animal print. I'm going in with my foil gel and popping that in the lamp for th uh, 60 seconds and then I'll come in with gold foil and place that over the top and try and get a full coverage which I missed some areas using the foil gel so I have to keep going in and fixing it. But usually I can just pull it away and it's all covered fully. Then what I'll do is I'll pop this in a lamp with matte top coat on and cure it for 30 seconds. And then we'll come in with that black heart gel again. So using that black art gel I'm just going to come in and create these markings. Now you could use a stamp and plate if you have one but the reason I'm doing it with the gel is because I'm going to come in with like some fuzzy felt and just sprinkle that over the top so it's got a texture to it which you'll see shortly. So I'm just working down the nail, putting these patterns in. Now these don't have to be any sort of shape, just as long as they kind of repl replicate sorry, the pattern on a draft.
So I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. So I'm before popping it in the lamp to cure, I'm just popping it in this little dish and we're coming in with some of that fuzzy felt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the dark brown colour first and I'm just randomly placing this on those dark black spots and then I'm also going to come in with the orange fuzzy felt just so that it's got different shades to it. So I'll just tidy up that brown stuff and then we'll come in and do the exact same with the orange. Once that's done, I'm going to pop it in the lamp for a full cure and then once it's cured, we'll dust off the excess fuzzy felt. So I think this gives it a good effect and I like the texture that it has to it. Then we're going to move on and do this last nail. So I wanted it to be like a glass effect nail, but I am going to use some stickers and these are just like in the shape of leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these on and then I'm going to come in with two layers of top coat. I want these to look like the leaves I'm going to do are like sort of layered um, as if you were looking into the trees in a distance. So I'll pop these on and then top coat them twice for 30 seconds curing in the lamp. Once that's done, I do buff off that top layer and then I'm coming in and doing some one stroke leaves. So I've already blended those paints on my brush and I'm just coming in and doing random leaf shapes. Now I'm not covering over the top fully of those gold leaves that are underneath. I just, I still want them to shine through, but obviously I want it to look like it would if you were looking into maybe like the jungle or something. Not that I've ever been to the jungle, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. You want it to look layered like it would like in nature. <laughs> oh, I do gab on, don't I? Anyway, I'll just let you watch at the moment because I will place on another leaf. So it's important to remember that with one stroke you will need to layer it to get a good colour in those leaves. Sometimes you can nail it first time but I do like to go in with two coats just because in that way I get a better effect.
So once I'm happy with these ones, I come in and just draw in some little bits of detail and then I'll top coat these again and then buff them. Then we're going to come in with a smaller one stroke brush and we're going to create a different shade of leaves and we're just doing little ones this time and going in a slightly different direction just to make them look layered. And once the paint has dried, I will come in and top coat and then that is this design finished. Sorry I had to speed up the draft, but I still hope you get the idea and enjoyed watching this video. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Away.